So today we will discuss about the persistent volume like how to extend the data in the existing persistent volume or existing pod. So this is one of the use case what I faced in my Kubernetes journey. So this is the requirement. So one of the application pod is running here and using the Azure disk as a persistent volume and the size is persistent volume is 100 GB, 150, 150 GB and 100 GB has been used. So, so this is the request like we have, so we have to increase the, we have to add 100 GB extra so that the total size would be 250 GB. So how to extend the persistent volume? So this is also when you face the interview in for the Kubernetes role. Then the interview asked me like which type of issue you have worked, which type of challenges you have worked and how to extend the persistent volume so you can explain it what i will show you here like how to extend the persistent volume what is the pre-task what the what are the pro, uh, pro task or uh, what uh, what is there we have to follow so let's go to my lab so i am using the azure aks cluster so this is my cluster and kubectl get all hyphen and nginx and nginx is my name space and nginx application is running so i want to extend the persistent volume for this pod so and i'm also using the rancher so we can also see it here through the rancher so this is the pod is running here so i uh, I, I can show you like in the shell uh, I am going to inside the pod shell and you can see it here the size of the mount point is 5 GB, 4.9 GB and this is the mount part data hyphen PVC. So this mount when we increase the persistent volumes like from 5 GB to 6 GB that will be reflected inside the pod. So this is the mount point, this is the file system we can say inside the pod and pod data will be stored in this data point okay so now i am going to do my shell and let's increase the size of persistent volumes so kubectl get pvc hyphen and nginx so this is the persistent volume which are which is in bond state and is connected with our pod which is running state and then i am going to extend the capacity from 5 gb to 6 gb so how do we how we can proceed so before before proceed you have to first bring down this application uh, you do, you can't increase the persistent volume when the application is running or application is online so you have to first bring down the application pod then after you can increase the persistent volumes so i am breaking down the application from the rancher it's a very simple way we have to just click on minus button so it will be down so Rancher is a GUI tool, it like manage the Kubernetes cluster where we can perform the operation task through GUI or through the dashboard. So it's very easy to manage the Kubernetes cluster. So I have my separate session, I have shown you how to install the Rancher in a, a, through the Docker. So if you are interested then you can pay me to get a video or you can join the my session like how to install the rancher and how to add a cluster into the rancher and all the stuff so, so now i'm going to showing the showing, uh, showing the uh, how to extend the volume right so i have bring down the application now i'm going to edit the persistent edit the persistent volume so kubectl edit pvc and the name of the pvc hyphen n nginx so uh, now i have entered into the persistent volume yaml file i i have opened in the vi editor so there is option under the specs there is option the storage storage 5 gb but in the real case in the production environment in my case the storage was 150 gb and i just made 150 to 250 so similar way I am going to here, I am going to do here also like from 5 GB to 7, G, 7 GB. So I made it changes from 5 GB to 7 GB. Let's save it this YAML file and apply it.
now it's edited you can see you can check the size of persistent volume but still it is in 5 gb i have changes the 7 gb but still it is showing the 5 gb but don't worry the application once the application will bring up then the it will reflect it here so it's not it is not showing because the other application is not running and pod is not online so let's make it the pod come up now my pod is up and running you can see the persistent volumes status now you can see it here the persistent volume data has been increased from 5 gb to 7 gb so in this way we can achieve this uh, requirement like how to extend the persistent volume of the existing application so in this way we can uh, extend the volume you can see it here in the pod cell like what I what I have showed you earlier so you can see it here the size is 6.9 GB so earlier it was 4.9 GB now the mount point under slash data hyphen PVC the, the size of the data is 7 GB so in this way we have we have extend the persistent volumes of the existing application and the application up and running so, so the, the purpose of this session is like to, to give a real time scenario in the Kubernetes like many of the students having only theoretical knowledge they don't have much experience in real time. So what are the tasks in the Kubernetes environment, what are the roles and responsibility, what type of issue generally we, have, we are facing and what type of scenario, what type of challenges in the Kubernetes role. So the, those things. So so I so I am going to. So I have already. Uh, I have created the session already and on the on those topic. So you can see it here. I have created the separate session for the live troubleshooting. So what type of issue what I have faced in my past Kubernetes journey. So I have collected all the issue and make it make it here and i have created the video on it like how what are the issue and what is the root cause of the issue and how to fix those issue so those things i have explained it here i have showed show it here the live troubleshooting the suppose one of the pod getting image pullback of error what is the reason why this pod having image pullback of error and how do we fix the issue so I am providing the complete session in this uh, in this session. Like uh, I have provided a complete package in this session. Uh, of the we have only eighty. We have the more than eighteen plus video of the only the live troubleshooting. So you can get you can see it here. Power getting image pullback of a PVC stuck in terminating state. So there are a lot of issues you can see it here and I have prepared the interview preparation task like what are the day to day tasks in Kubernetes in the production environment and tell me brief intro, intro in Kubernetes generally the interview asks the first question is tell me about yourself tell me about your Kubernetes project so in this session I have explained the, all the Kubernetes infrastructure details and like how, how many cluster you are using, what are the monitoring tool, what are the logging tool, which type of application running, running in my project and which backup tool you are using, what are the size of cluster. So those details I have covered in this session and this is the day to day task like what are the day to day tasks in Kubernetes. So then in the interview also asking tell me about your day to day tasks in Kubernetes. So that thing I have, I have uh, mentioned in in this session like what are the day-to-day -day tasks in the kubernetes and apart from that i have shown you the live troubleshooting of all the issue like scenario based issue and the uh, and scenario based issue and with the solution let me show you one of the so you can this is my application pod pull back of it and in the private the subscribe
the two command repo so in this deployment you have seen see it here some of the pod are some of pod are image pullback of uh, some pod are image uh, running state and let's go to another another video so hello friends in this session and like how to do troubleshoot the issue yeah. like what are the steps what are the basic yeah. steps what the command we have to use how to fix the issue so i have fixed all the 18 issue like i have you can see it here there are so many parts are in stuck in crash or back of state some parts are stuck in pending state some parts are in failed state so i can show you the failed state So hello friends, today we are covering the image pullback of it. So this is very common issue which I am facing in my environment. So we have to check what is the reason. Sometimes PVC is stuck in terminating state how to fix those issue. Sometimes application URL down, how to fix it, what is the reason and sometimes we have how to we extend the persistent volumes. For name is now you can see it here. So hello friends, so today we will discuss about the uh, so This is the like where we have covered the, all the issue and the image pullback of error some parts are in pending state Space Okay So, you so can see this is some the part are stuck in pending state this is the PV persistent volume which I stuck in pending pending state. So how to fix the issue? So at the end, so at the end you can see it. I have fixed the issue and both PVC are, are in bond state, are in active state. So in this way, I have uh, I have created all the uh, I have taken all the issue and I have show you how to fix those issue and apart from that i have covered all the uh, like advanced topic like how to upgrade the aks cluster how to take the backup how to restore the backup from the backup how to configure what are how to create the repository how to create the secrets so those things i have covered like in the aks upgradation what are pre task post task so those are things that i have covered in my session So this is the advanced topic what we have covered in my session apart from the live troubleshooting so so if you want to get more detail then ping me so i will be discuss more in details so this is the course content this is the apart from the live troubleshooting this is the course content what we will cover and you can see it here this is a real time based scenario real time issue in kubernetes and uh, and this is a live power screen so the i think video on the live power shooting and scenario based question on kubernetes and this is a real time issue 10 videos so this is very helpful for those candidates who has having not a good 
if not who is having only the theoretical knowledge or they have just taken the they have just taken the complete the course from the institute or from the youtube or from the self learning but they don't have much experience about the real time so what are the task what are the day to day task what type of issue which type of challenges we have to face in the community those thing i have covered in my session and i have created a separate session for live troubleshooting so that will be very helpful for those candidate to crack the interview to to express the them to express uh, in, front, in front of interview to like very confident they can tell them like they have worked on this topic they have worked on this issue so so thank you so I have shared my number you can ping me 